Hey there folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 13 on the Mysterious JG. <clears throat> I'm full of uh, Mexican food and ready to start trying to conquer ancient China. <coughs> Pardon me. I haven't watched the intro that many times in this uh, one. It's not as impressive to me as some of the other intros they've done throughout the series. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, last time things got rather interesting. Uh, we're still looking to avenge the death of Lu Ling Qi at the hands of Huang Zhang, officer of Sun Chuen. And uh, as I finally stopped uh, piddling around with other stuff and uh, left Cao Cao, hobbled but still a force, and uh, turned my attention to trying to attack the city of Huang Zhang, what happened but uh, the rest of China um, formed a coalition against me. And I have to confess, I did a little bit of off-screening, goofing around, um, if things follow the same pattern as before, one interesting thing that came up, Cao Cao didn't really attack me until after I had pulled troops out of Luo Yang to try to help with other fights. And then he attacked. And I ran into a strange little issue where Hu Lao Gate is still Cao Cao's. Even though there's like, um, not really uh, any troops there. So when I had troops march out and then they came back, I, I started trying to pull them back, uh, somehow the pathing, they ended up fighting at Hulao Gate to try to get back to Luo Yang, and that was very silly. So what I'm going to do right now is actually deploy In theory, they're here to protect Luo Yang. But what I'm actually going to do is, uh. What they're actually going to do is attack Hulao Gate. Wu Gate doesn't belong to us either, but since it's between us and South Cao, I'm less aggravated about the idea of losing it. So this coalition's been formed against us. Nobody's attacked yet, but they will. They will. And we've got Lu Bu's, uh... Well, no, nobody from Lu Bu's side is helping us out here. Right now it's just... JG Mystery, Liu Zhang army marches to invade Jiangling with the host numbering 146,100. And Liu Zhang is marching to invade Lingling with a host num numbering 34,400. So that's a thing. Yan Yan has almost 50,000 troops. Meng Da has about 40,000 troops. This must be uh, a Wuki has 60,000 troops. And then Tian Dan has 34,000 troops. So, what might be a good idea? Based on my goofing around off screen, I pulled back some guys to help defend Jian Ling. And then, um,. Like Vulture Bobo and some other officers of Lu Bu's primary district came out to help too. And we were able to fight off Liu Zhang fairly well, but Liu Zhang's forces plus this this guy's forces overwhelmed the defenses I was able to bring up in uh, Ling Ling. So that's a thing. For now, we do have. Um, Ping Guo is created officer. He's coming to help us out. Um, yeah, Lu Bu's uh, actual force is is uh, helping us out with an attack here, and we got Vulture Bobo coming to defend us. So I wonder if it would be a good idea for to pull back some guys to Ling Ling. 
手だな。Keep going, actually. No, we better pull you back to John Ling. Don't make Vulture Bobo do all the work. So, where are you going? You are going to Jiang Ling. Oh, they're advancing on Jiangling. They're not actually attacking uh, Jian Ye. So you are attacking Jian Ye. Okay, I thought these guys were helping with the attack. They're helping out with the defense. Although Lu Bu is personally uh, mobilizing to attack Jian Ye. I sure hope we can actually capture uh, Huang Zhong. Because that, in my off screening, that actually didn't happen. He somehow slipped through our fingers. So, Guiyang is, I think, another one of these southern cities, because the guy whose name I can never remember is going to attack it. <coughs> We will let Mr. P defend his own city here. With the hope of Rin Satori and Chen Yang. And we'll let uh, Sun Jason and uh, Falger come help him out. And, um, we'll let you guys go ahead and, in case it takes a while to deploy, we'll get uh, Jin Juan, Ji Hao Shi, and Jin Yi here to march out and defend their own city. He's going to show us a victory. And, uh, actually, Lu Du Wei, uh, whatever her name, she could probably help out somewhere, too. This is just going to be a big fucking throwdown. you guys doing? You're gonna attack Hula Gate. Okay, good for you, Vulture Bean. And you know what? She can lead a small unit out to help with that as well. Truly, then I shall prepare to march. Yeah, she's like, what, you want me to lead troops? Oh, okay, it's not really my thing. Attack 24, defense 100. But I don't think we lose troops attacking a gate with no defenders, although I suppose we will find out. Yeah, we don't, so she might be able to speed it up. Okay, JG Mystery Force. You have plenty of supplies. You can advance. Cao Jing's Force. You have plenty of supplies. You can advance. Jiang Yan. 
go ahead and advance. I, I was going to have them all meet up. But we got Cao, uh, Cao Ching and JG to meet up. And Chen Gong seems to be marching more or less in synchronous uh, in synchronicity with uh, Ping Guo. It'd be good to control that gate. Let's see which uh, officers are in these forces. Sun Xuan's force. Does not have Huang Zhang in it. Clark Griswold's force. Does. Which means that we want to control this battle because we want to get in there and actually... In case we have an opportunity to capture Huang Zhang and can uh, execute him. Oh, it's a naval battle. Damn it. The village of Kun Yang swears loyalty to Zhu Chang of the Lubu army. I hate naval battles. Zhu Jing squad evaded Ping Guo's... Pursuit force and retreated successfully. Wang Zhang ev evaded. Ah. So they pulled out. Wang Zhang, a coward. He's only good for fighting women. At some point, we have to find the time to get back to our uh, the beautiful Zhen Ji with her political her governance score of 69. Shinji's like the only officer in my army who's not currently deployed in battle. Okay, so... There's a battle going on for Guiyang, which we're currently winning. Your, for your force is supposed to be attacking, but you're waiting for those guys to arrive, I guess. Since uh, we can't capture Huang Zhang anymore, I I'll go ahead and let this naval battle play out without us zooming in. Because JG Mystery will be offered that opportunity in a moment. We've got them badly outnumbered. We'll just let it go. Although now, probably reinforcements have arrived that probably include Huang Zhang. Xiao Yuan, prisoner of Lu Bu, has escaped. On how has escaped. There's more guys showing up. Fat bastard or whatever his name is. Uncle Tracky. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Tracky. Are you guys still coming? Because they've been up there waiting for you. Lu Bu has redistributed materials in Lu Jiang. We will uh, advance up to where Vulture Bobo is and give him a hand. Those guys. Because, yeah, Yan Yan and uh, Mang Da are on their way to try to fuck us up. And they've got a lot of troops. Ooh, and with this guy falling. Yeah, hmm, I might not have enough here defending. I might have, in light of what happened to me previously, pulled too many guys down here to the far south and don't have enough guys waiting to defend the mountain pass between Jiangling and Yang'an. That could be. Let's see if we took that gate, because once we take the gate... Uh, no, we haven't taken the gate yet. That is not being as easy as it should be, as I'd hoped it would be. They are making slow... They're having slow going with this gate. Clearly, this is the most exciting and important battle of the... Four battles that are simultaneously occurring. Well, there's, actually, there's only two. Liu Zhang's guys haven't arrived yet. So we won a battle down here.
You know what? You guys are going to attack us. Fuck you. We're going to try to take the city they attacked us from. That might pull uh, off some of their attackers, too. We'll see what happens. Worst that can happen is that I pull them back and we don't take the city. But yeah, that might distract these guys from um, attacking Ling Ling. Battle of Ji on Ye, Lu Bu versus Sun Xuan, but I'd like to control directly. Yeah, let's go for it. This might be our best bet to capture Huang Zhang. Thanks, Dad. Lu Bu entrusting his armies to us. So we've got out in the mountain numbered about 2 to 1. And, uh. I don't see Huang Zhang, the Dream Master, amongst their ranks. He would be the leader of whatever unit he was in, I'm pretty sure. Clark Griswold, Sue somebody or other with Jacques Yao helping him out. Jing Dao Rong, Klein Calvin, and Sun Kuang. Kind of motley assortment of warriors here. Chen Dao, would you please attack at this camp? You can stay here to defend the main camp. And the rest of us will... Attack this gate. Are you guys already on the wall? Um, what the hell's going on with you? <coughs> thought there was a way for me to change the angle. Yeah, there you go. They are not on the wall. They are using siege ladders. I think our best bet is to just take out the gate, guys. Although I guess they're thinking now that they're up here, they'll uh, destroy the defenses. All that worried about the castle defenses, they're static. So their morale is going down as we keep taking out their shit. Oh, I've got a spear unit for a change. Oh, we haven't taken out the gate yet. I thought we had. Run them through the middle. Now it's our tats attack. Cow Zen has escaped. That's okay. I thought somebody had died when they make that noise. That was... So I guess we're just taking out all the defenses with these guys. Might as well. Oh, and of course, now that we've crossed over... Yeah, I got you. We're also... Uh, we could also climb down uh, the... Yeah, that makes sense. We're climbing, climbing the walls of the siege tower, and then we can climb down to whatever. Oh, the guy I had defending our main camp is... Uh, maybe I'd... 
Well, I don't want to, like, pull myself out of the battle, but... I do have the most powerful unit here by a considerable margin. I might want to make sure that I don't let anybody uh, sneak up on us and uh, take our main camp. Because I didn't literally leave anybody there. Fetch on, I know it's not that glorious, but you need to go back and defend the main camp. I trust you to take care of business. Somebody's morale just got crushed. Hey, Liu Kong, soften horses. That is weird. Weird idea for an attack. Bow defense formation, increase an ally bow's defense and range. Doing flames slightly reduces enemy morale and mobility and inflicts burn and burn ships. So I set a fire. Hopefully, it burns mostly there, guys. Take out that enemy, it'll drain the life right out of their line. And now it's now my guys are wandering around into the flames. Great. Alright guys, I uh, mistakes were made, mistakes were made, let's get out of the fire. Oh, those are reinforcements for us, I'm not used to that ever happening. Well, Uncle Draki, um... Uncle Draki could probably keep an eye on the main camp and let Fat John get back into the action. Okay, so that's it for that's it for the flames. I guess we'll start charging the uh, main camp now. JG Mystery moving up there on his own, kind of. You guys, what are you guys doing? We did finally break down the gate, so... Clark Griswold, you mean we're being pushed back? Great so, buddy. So I did this with the hope that we would actually get to attack, uh, or get to capture Huang Zhong, but it looks like the Dream Masters abandoned the city that he was the ruler of. Now what is my, uh... Oh, I don't have, uh... Don't have any siege weapons, apparently. JG Mystery's personal unit doesn't. And we've been ensnared. Maybe we're just gonna try to knock down this wall and see what happens. Wish I had, uh... Oh, he's got a siege ladder. Yeah, we'll go ahead and 
I don't believe it. Hey, Chang Gong is here. With a big old unit. Come on, Chang Gong. Become selectable. Oh, God, fine. I'll select you this way. Because I keep forgetting that I can do that. Sun Quang has been freed from Shao Chun. Having just a million people rush the gate is slowly working. JG Mystery is going to go for the Demoralizer. Oh, and with Lu Bu here, he makes it more powerful. That's cool. And then, actually, what I wanted JG Mystery to do, really, was to get up here and start getting into this attack. A formidable enemy. Well, the gate's going down anyway. Call them into battle. Do it, Rockapella. Gate opened. Tear them apart. Do not fall behind. Sun Xuan's uh, morale is in the crapper, of course. See if we can make that just a little bit worse. You fiend. Are you not impressed, Sush Quinn? Whatever. Oh man, I, <coughs> I lost a guy. That allows another reinforcement to arrive for me, but I didn't protect all allies from destruction, although it seems like somehow it, I did. Chen Dao slain by Lian Po. I don't know whose side he was on. I feel like one of my guys just got killed, but I don't really know. I, I don't know why I'm bothering with this, because they will never arrive in time to make a difference, but let's abandon our main camp. And yeah, okay, one of our guys was killed. Chen Dao was one of ours. And he died in this heroic battle. I want to pincer attack these guys. That should be the end for Sun Chuen's personal unit. No, apparently they're still going. Cheng Bing is gone. How can I face brother and father? Nah, you can't. You're a jabber. We're still all losing guys up here. Are we not fighting them? We were about to take out their main camp, I believe. And at that point, we'll call it a video. Oh, Lu Bu got defeated? Oh, wow, I was kind of asleep at the wheel there. I didn't realize Lu Bu was going to be destroyed.
Thousand Slayer. For Yunjiba. We're overwhelmed. Holy shit. Wow, some of my biggest officers are getting defeated. Leon Poe, the guy who actually defeated one of... who killed one of my officers, has been wiped out. Not sure what's going to fall first, this guy or the base. But right around the same... Yeah, I just got kind of sloppy with this one. Should have won this better than I did. Simply no luck. All units decimated. Fat John, the big hero of the day. I've got nothing but great praise for your leadership. The spools of war deserve to be yours. Thanks, Fat John. Here's that Chipotle burrito I offered you as a bribe. I write first to carry us to victory. I will continue to strive towards perfection. You beat me next time, you won't be so lucky. The Lubu army has conquered Jian Ye. Thirteen officers, including Sun Xuan, have been captured by Uncle Draki for us. And it's time to call it a video. Okay, guys. Uh, we were not able to capture Huang Zhang, which means Lu Linqi's death is still unavenged. But it was a major victory for our forces to take that city nonetheless. Especially because we took a city from Sun Xuan right in the middle of fighting off an attack by coalition against us. On the Serious JG, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you'll join me next time for more of Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 13. Bye-bye.